What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman and Ben Razza here for awesome.com and we are back with the breakfast menu served up by BetMGM, where you can turn big plays into paydays. And if you are interested in three free months of Awesome O Plus Platinum, I got a little bit of a deal for you. All you have to do is use the link in the description of this video, deposit at least $10 into BetMGM, and make a bet that gets paid out in some way, a win, a loss, a push, whatever you need. When you do that, you will get three free months of Awesome O Plus Platinum. That covers everything we have, every sport, daily fantasy, season-long fantasy football, betting. Plus, you get a risk-free bet, bet ooh, of up to $1,000. Terms and conditions apply. Now hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, notification bell, so you know when everything goes live. Because today we are talking Thursday night football, big game, Rams and Seahawks. Huge game. Every game in the NFC West is a big game because all four of those teams are actual threats, uh, certainly for the postseason and beyond. So we've got one here. The Rams last week obviously got a little humbled. They're still two and a half point favorite on the road here going into Seattle. So very competitive game. There's definitely a side that I like, but there's a prop that I like and I want to start in the prop world. I looked at Cooper Cup, but I just couldn't get over the juice for his receptions. Robert Woods has been kind of a disappointment at times. I found myself going down to the second or third option for Matthew Stafford in Tyler Higby. His receptions prop is three and a half. It's slightly juiced at minus 130 to the over, but I am willing to pay that price. I look at this guy, integral part of the offense. He's converting basically all his targets, and I do like to see that. I think that will continue. So far in the year, he's got 18 targets, but he's got 15 receptions. So if Stafford's getting him the ball, it's usually resulting in an actual catch. Then I look at Seattle. They're middle to the pack to slightly weak against the tight end position. They're giving uh, up over five catches a game so far to the position. And I think that the way the Rams utilize their offense, Higby's still going to continue to get that type of target share. So I look at this. It's a pretty simple, I think, low variance type prop. Three and a half, I expect him to have four or five catches, kind of like he's been doing. So if you give me five or six targets, it's going to be four or five catches at minus 130. To win a strip of bacon, Tyler Higby will go over that receptions prop. When you said that you were looking at uh, receivers further down the line, I was like, is he about to give out some sort of like Van Jefferson yeah. player prop? I was not ready for that at all. Did it didn't even cross him. my mind to go to Higby. But no, I mean, I just, I really do trust Higby in these spots. Competitive game, healthy total. It's not like Cup isn't going to get his, but there's just a lot of targets to go around. And I think that Higby is one of those guys each and every week for the most part, he's going to contribute in a pretty quantitative way. Well, I do not have a player prop. I have a side of this game, and I would like to go to the Los Angeles Rams minus two and a half against the Seahawks in Seattle, one strip of bacon. PFF has the Rams 10th offensively, number one defensively. Seahawks, on the other hand, sixth offensively and a very weird to me, 19th defensively. Rams are coming in off the big loss to the Cardinals, finally have a loss under their belt. Seahawks got back to their winning ways, got a W against the Niners. This, I guess, is just not the same Seahawks team that we've been used to for so many years. The Football Outsiders has the Seahawks defense ranked 25th through the first four weeks. I'm just not used to the Seahawks having an absolutely terrible defense. I think that the Rams are going to do to the Seahawks what the Cardinals did to the Rams last week. So I'm happy to lay the two and a half, but I'd be fine going to some alternative lines like I'd be happy to get the odds on whatever they are, minus seven or something along those lines. I think this is going to be a little bit bigger. I don't think that double digits is outside the realm of possibility. Uh, but at two and a half, I am very happy to get to the Rams. Yeah, I mean, there's like, you know, looking at BetMGM, you've got minus six and a half at plus 180. Uh, if you think that the Rams can, can kind of win going away. It's not the best line, I'll be honest. But yeah. uh, everything you said, I'm going to agree with except one thing. You said one strip of bacon. That is fake news. It's going to be two strips of bacon because I am also taking the Rams. Uh, minus two and a half. I like this team. I think when we see this, uh, of course, when you play in the West, you know, to, to go 6-0 and or win all those games, just very, very difficult. Arizona was good. Uh, credit to them. We're going to find out how good in the future. But I don't worry about anything that I saw with the Rams long term. Seattle, there's still some magic in there. We saw that against San Francisco. They sit at 2-2 two and two on the year. But you kind of mentioned that this is certainly not a vintage Seahawks defense. Stafford and these weapons, they will be ready. They just have so many different ways to attack. If Henderson is healthy in this backfield, you've got all the weapons on the outside. 
I don't think Seattle can just score with them. And I think San Francisco's a little more, you know, methodical than a team like the Rams. High octane, you know, Arizona beat them at their own game. I think if the Seahawks get into a game like that with the Rams, it is not going to work out. So it's a good number. You're getting it inside a field goal, even though they're on the road. I'm going to piggyback off what you said. I like the Rams in this spot and certainly uh, Tyler Higby to be involved. I love it. I love it. I like when Let's we're on go. the same side of things. We've, been we've good. got something we good. I swept it up uh, on Monday Night Football. We are going to keep that rolling. That was a weird looking broom, but we're going to take what we can get here on the breakfast menu. I don't generally uh, do any sweeping while I'm sitting down. Fair. So it was, I don't, if I do it now, it looks like I'm churning butter or something along those lines or, or doing something else unsavory on this video. But either way, thank you for joining us for the breakfast menu served up by BetMGM.